Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Modern Industrialization Tutorial Series. This is the third episode. In this episode, you have gained all the steel you need, and it is time to begin getting steel machines. You'll be upgrading all of these. Now, to create your steel machines, you need to make these steel upgrades, which is a steel machine casing and the fluid pipes, fire clay bricks, bronze gears, bronze rotors, bronze rod, the machine casing, same way you did the bronze one, but with steel, just like that. Now, you'll take your old uh, bronze machines, you place them inside of the um, smithing table, you get your bronze counterparts. So let's go ahead and do this with all of them. So we can upgrade what we have. Now, the benefits of using steel is that you can use more uh, steam uh, to process things quicker. So what we can do is we can start by upgrading these boilers uh, with your steel ones. So let's upgrade these, let's throw back in this coal and then let's do the same with our pumps down here and let's get that wrench and set these all to go so that goes much quicker than before and we'll be producing a lot more steam now once we, now we got those out of the way uh, other ways to use the steel are, of course, a quicker production. So for the macerators, we can make this go quicker. We can make the rest go quicker. Um, another thing to do is to make these fluid input hatches, right? Now it's a steel tank on a steel machine casing. That's the tank recipe. And so what you can do is you can use these instead of the uh, instead of the bronze hatches and what they'll do is they'll double the speed because the bronze hatches only allow for a recipe of two millibuckets a tick now these will allow for four uh, it's not that much more but it doubles the speed um, so that's upgrading what we currently have right right here we can upgrade these Uh, another thing you can do now that you've got steel is you can make yourself a quarry. Now, quarries are going to be the beginning to mass resources. You'll never need to go mining again. And that sounds pretty damn good to me. So, to set up your steam quarry, you're going to need a steam quarry, which costs large steel large plates four of them a steel machine casing two steel gears and an item pipe we're also going to be needing an invar rotary blade which is going to take some diamond dust which you get from macerating diamonds and an invar gear which will take some invar things and to get invar you mix iron and nickel dust to get your invar dust now you're going to place this down and let's place it over here Let's get some of this out of the way. Now, the other things you're going to need are four chains, 16 machine steel machine casings, and six pipe machine casings. Uh, now, the 16 steel machine casings is an estimate uh, provided by the mod. You actually need a little bit less uh, because you will be using hatches instead. But we'll set this up first. So we'll throw our wrench in the other hand. And we'll start piecing this together right here. And then we'll use the pipe machine casings and one more of these and some chains right down the middle. Bam. Right. So now this is active, but we have no hatches on it. So what we'll need to do is we'll take a steel fluid input hatch and, we'll, and we will place it right here. And then we'll take some of these. We'll take our steam and we'll 
place it there. So we'll start getting some steam now. And then what we'll do is we'll need a steel item input hatch to input the drills that we're going to need to provide it right here. Uh, another hatch we'll need is an item output hatch to out output all of our items. And then we'll uh, enable the auto item extraction and we'll go ahead and put a chest down right here. Now obviously you can hook this up to uh, to different pipes into a big network and we'll be doing that in a later episode. Now to get this up and running we just need to throw in some drills. So you can use bronze drills in these because they only use 4 EU a tick uh, which also is 4 millibuckets of steam a tick which is the max that these uh, steel fluid input hatches can provide. And so that's what that will go right there. And in due time, as it processes, we will get ores. Uh, you'll get these ores to be exact right here. Uh, iron, coal, lignite, copper, tin, gold, and redstone in the production chances shown. It'll take 30 seconds with zero efficiency. Uh, you can also use copper drills. It will take the same amount of time, but you'll get cobblestone, diorite, andesite, granite, dirt, gravel, cobble deep slate, and tuff. And you'll use these mostly for building blocks, um, although the copper drill has a higher consumption chance. The bronze drill has a 4% consumption chance, which means every time it processes, it has 4% chance to break one of these. But here we got some coal and some iron. Now another thing we can do is use gold drills. Now gold drills need 8 EU a tick, and they ask for the electric quarry, but one method is to use gunpowder, which can double the speed. And so now once this is finished right here, which will be the rest of the bronze one, if we right click this, will that work? Yes, it will, right there. So now it is doubling the, not only the speed, but the intake as well, which allows it to reach that eight EU a tick, right? Now it's allowing us to use these gold drills. And not only that, it will take only 15 seconds as it's also doubling or halving the time that it would normally take. These gold drills will give you netherrack, blackstone, basalt, soul soil, magma blocks, soul sand, ancient debris, glowstone, nether quartz ore, and nether gold ore. Now, we can let this run, but what you'll have to do eventually is automate these bronze drills, which are made using iron gears, an item pipe, a green fluid pipe, and a bronze drill head will give you four of them. And this is how you make your bronze drill head. In due time, you'll start to generate a lot of resources. Now this is just the steam one. There is an electric one, but we'll get to that later. Um, another thing that you can do is your steel item output hatch, hatch only has two slots. Now when we look at the recipe, this has a total of seven possible outputs. Now it doesn't just choose one or choose two of them. Each of these, it's production chance, they each have an individual production chance. So theoretically, all seven could be generated at once. but we would lose five of them because we, all, we don't have enough space. So what you can do is you can set this up to do multiple. So here, that will do eight. We can set them all to that. And we can use an item pipe so we don't lose any of them. Uh, like this, we're gonna go out and blacklist. So we could be making more because of those extra chances. That's it for steel machines. It's just a small upgrade from bronze. Plus you get this awesome quarry that will make you never need to go mining ever again. Well, at least for the seven ores that it produces. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this was helpful.
have a good rest of your day.